Hello, my fellow Nevadans. My name is Andy, and I'm principal of the School of Puck. And alongside me, as always, is my right wing man, my trusty lieutenant, Dan. We heard you were looking for a sport to keep in shape during the fall, so we have a perfect sport for you. Have you ever wanted to play a sport where you could develop the strength of a football player? You know, how much you want to make a bet I could throw a football over them mountains? Blue 42, set Omaha, set Red Foot Sunday, Dude, set... Dude, just throw the football. Set high! If coach would have put me in fourth quarter, we would have won state. No doubt. No doubt in my mind. Where you can have feet as quick as a basketball player? And you can have the grace of the tennis player all at the same time. Oh my gosh. Okay. Are you kidding me? That was out? You cannot be serious. You cannot be serious! That ball hit the line. Chalk flew up! If you said yes to all three of those questions, then hockey is the right sport for you. Hockey is a game of speed, skill, agility, athleticism, and creativity. Hockey is a great way of exercising and a great way to make friends. Hockey has a long and rich history. Historians say that ancient Egyptians were the first to keep records of a sport played with a ball and stick about 4,000 years ago. A little later, a sport called hurling was invented in Ireland. In hurling, each player has a stick and tries to hit a ball into the net. Many Canadians have Irish ancestors, so it's not much of a surprise that in the late 1800s, people in Canada tried playing hurling on ice skates. And that is how hockey was born. Hockey has grown a ton in Nevada since the arrival of the Vegas Golden Knights. A few years ago, this rink was as barren as the desert that surrounds it. Now it's a thriving hockey paradise. Even though hockey was born in North America, it is very popular all around the world. Countries in Europe, Asia, Africa, and even South America have national hockey teams. Today, games are broadcasted in many languages worldwide. Carries the puck to center ice. Drops it down to the half pole. Fires the shot. Rebound. Scores! Hey, hey, hey! That's hockey, baby! It's it scored! He goes top shelf for Mama Heisler Cookies. He put the biscuit in the basket. The meat is finally in the pot. Also, to Schneider. Schneider! Und jetzt haben wir ein Tor! Avietschkin. Ovechuk. Hands up, everybody! Goal! Scheibe Rota! Storova! Storova! Hiroshi! Pass Hiroshi! Goal! 3-0! 3-0! Mendoza! Recupera el isco! Lo pasa de Sanchez! Sanchez de para! Rebota! Goal! Azzo! Benson! Fires the shots to Pox and it's in goal line and she doesn't have... Dude! What? That's not real Swedish. What? That... That's not real Swedish at all. Dude, I've been taking Swedish lessons from the Swedish chef from Sesame Street almost every day. Okay, well, that's not it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need my money back. Country of Sweden, we sincerely apologize for any offense we've done. Um, we love IKEA, and we can't wait for the next Avatar. A hockey team consists of six players on the ice. The first three players are the right wing, the center, and the left wing. These players are the forwards. They're usually the fastest guys on the ice. Hey guys, want to see me skate to the boards and back? Want to see me do it again? Each team has two defensemen. Their job is to protect the net. They're usually the strongest guys on the ice. <laughs> hey, that guy took my wallet! Fuck! <laughs> The last 
last but not least, you have the goalie, whose job is to protect the net. The goalie is usually the weirdest guy on your team because anyone that has stuff voluntarily shot at them is crazy. Where's my net? What? I'm not touching your net. I'm just looking at it. Don't even look at it. So the objective of the game of hockey is obviously to score more goals than the opponent. However, in hockey, the, the puck must be propelled off the player's stick or bounce off to someone in order for it to count as a legit goal. Puck cannot be kicked in. Golazo! Batted in with the glove. Carried in. Superman! Or thrown in. Selfie. A hockey game lasts three periods. If the game is still tied after three periods, then the game will go to a sudden death overtime, where the first team that scores wins the game. And if they're still tied after that, they go to a shootout. Hey guys, now you've learned the basics of hockey, it's time to review with a pop quiz. Our first question, how many hockey players does each team have on the ice at the same time? Is it A, 5, B, 4, C, 6, or D, 10? The correct answer is C, 6. Question number 2. In what country was the sport of hurling invented? Was it A, Ireland, B, Kenya, C, United States, or D, Brazil? The correct answer is A, Ireland. Question number 3. How many defensemen does each team have on the ice at the same time? Is it A, 5, B, 2, C, 3, or D, 1? The correct answer is B, 2. Question number 4. What happens if a hockey game is tied after three periods? A, the game is automatically over, both teams ended a tie. B, it goes into overtime until someone scores. C, they flip a coin and decide who wins. Or D, they play rock, paper, scissors to decide who wins. The correct answer is B, it goes to overtime until somebody scores. Question number five. Which of the following is not a shot in hockey? A, a wrist shot. B, a snap shot. C, a slap shot. Or D, a flop shot. The 
correct answer is D, a flop shot. All right, now that you all aced a review quiz, it's time to go over some hockey vocabulary. First word we have is the five hole. Now the five hole is the area between the goalie's legs. Players often shoot there because that's an open spot. This term is also referred to as between the wickets and tweeners. A dangle is any move an offensive player makes to try to fake the defender or the goalie out of position. This is also known as a deke. A snipe is just another word for a beautifully placed shot. They should be put top corners or top corners, bar down, which means under the bar, or a perfectly placed shot five hole. A power play happens when one team takes a penalty and the other team has an extra player for a certain amount of time. A minor penalty lasts two minutes and the minor penalty is over either after two minutes or when the team on the power play scores a goal. A major penalty lasts five minutes, but unlike a minor penalty, Team on the power play can score as many goals as they want before the five minutes are up. Music is also an important part of the game of hockey. As principal of the school of puck, unlike your school principal, I get paid to dress like legendary 1980s US hockey team coach Herb Brooks, and I also play guitar all day. Here are a few guitarists that you need to know in order to be a real hockey fan. watch this video. Um, if you haven't learned anything else, you just have to learn these three words. Go, nice, go! Well, this is kind of awkward. Yeah, we, you know, yeah, we, we're gonna go. We probably should go. Get out!